And welcome back, everybody. Jesse Kasser with you courtside here at halftime. And we're joined by a special guest, LMU women's head coach, Charity Elliott. Charity, thanks for joining us here at halftime. Oh, absolutely. It's my pleasure. Well, Charity, you're here uh, at the men's game. Obviously, you guys are have conflicting schedules a lot, but it's nice to come out here and see the men's team. What have you seen from uh, your counterparts here, the LMU men's team so far? Well, I, I, love, I love it when they get up and down, when they get that transition going. They look really, really good. Um, you know, they, I, I thought they were definitely in control the first probably 12, 13, 14 minutes of the game. Boise's come back a little bit, but um, we know Mike's in there uh, making some adjustments and corrections, and uh, they'll come out on fire in the second half. Yeah, and as far as your team, you guys are playing really well lately. Five out of six wins, three in a row, and you have the player of the week in the WCC. Uh, what's been clicking for your ball club so far this season? Well, I, I don't. I can't quite say that we're clicking a whole lot, to be honest with you. There have been some ugly wins in the middle of that, but um, I really like the direction that we're going. Um, we've got a really nice inside presence um, that, that we haven't had consistently for a while. Um, Jackie Johnson is the one that uh, was player of the week this week and is averaging a double-double at 18 rebounds uh, yesterday at Fullerton. Um, but it's also been really nice to see that we're having some of our guards step up Mackenzie Cass hit six threes in our game yesterday. Um, you know, it, it's not very pretty, but we're getting better, and, and we're able, we've really shown a lot of grit these last uh, few games in particular, because we've had some really, really close ball games that have come down to like the last one or two possessions, and we've been able to figure out a way to, to get a win. And is there something to be said about that as a coach? I'm sure that might be even more pleasing as a coach, where you're not clicking yet, but you're still finding ways to win. Uh, leading up to when you are clicking, you can really get things going. Yes, and that's what I think, you know, we're, we're really excited about is we, we can look at each other in the locker room and say, wow, that was not very pretty. Um, but we're still happy because we were successful and we, we finished, you know, finishing has been a real big key for us the last few years. Of We've been competing, competing, but we haven't been able to really finish and get the win. And um, the last, uh, you know, five of the last six, we've been able to really finish the game strong. Um, and yet I still feel like we have a long way to go, so that's exciting. Yeah, and this is your fifth year with the program. Right. You're here with, uh, obviously, all your recruits now. Right. Uh, what kind of style and really will are you trying to impose with this team? To What kind of identity, I guess, are you trying to build for here for LMU? Yeah, I mean, we just we want to be really up-tempo and aggressive both offensively and defensively. Um, we want to push tempo, run the floor, um, get, get opportunities where we uh, have an advantage offensively. Defensively, we do a lot of trapping. We do a lot of different things, um, try to mix it up. Um, and and we want to we want to have grit. And, and we haven't had the kind of grit mindset that I've wanted uh, in the last few years. And I really feel like our leadership this year is really, really showing that. And I think that's bleeding down into the rest of our team. And then that the grit is where you see the last, you know, in a close ball game, the grittiest, toughest team generally comes out uh, on top. Yeah, and that grit certainly seems to be paying off as of yeah. late. Um, for final note, uh, we had the March Madness here a couple months ago. You had Leslie Lopez-Wood beat Stephen Haney and right. LMU legend Jeff Fryer. Uh, how much fun was that uh, just to have all the programs together and then Leslie kind of show, show out for the women's team and really have a big performance? Well, I mean, Leslie is uh, one of those just really tough, gritty, gritty, gritty kids. And for it to... Uh, come down to as close as it was. I think it was by one one basket, and the environment was incredible. You know, we we have. I love what uh, Mike's doing on the men's side, and the the camaraderie and the energy that that hopefully we're building amongst uh, the student athletes and and all the students here on campus is a lot of fun. And that event um, that event it was fantastic. Bringing Jeff Fryer back was so fun. Um, and for Leslie to win was was pretty special for her going out as a senior. But uh, we just, you know, we're going to get these guys get a W tonight and uh, hope everybody comes out. We play next this coming Saturday at 2 o'clock. We play uh, Long Beach State and uh, trying to get our sixth win of the year. All right, well, there you have it. Uh, Long Beach State coming up on Saturday for Charity Elliott and the women's basketball team. Thanks so much for joining us hey, here at Hey, thank you so much for having me. Go Lions. Go Lions. It's Charity Elliott. We'll be back after a break here on the W.TV.